Hello there everyone and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Nevada Protectorate Lover, but we gotta read a Boneyard Expedition. The Boneyard's a curious place, the heart of the NCR's war machine, but also home to the pacifists and their followers. Graham Irwin has come to us with a proposed deal hoping to build up on First Citizen Lynette's town there. The Boneyard provides us with military equipment in exchange for access to some of our civilian technology. Given the need to stand on our own two feet, perhaps we should consider this offer. As Lynette knows from her time there, they are rather civilized for Californians, tricking up everybody, but... We're gonna stand alone. We could use a little bit. We've gone to war with the protection, the protectron security hub, and we just finished free unskilled labor. And up next, we're gonna be doing what? Uh, these folks up here. Buy from the Van Graffs. Whatever our feelings are about their unsavory reputation, the Van Graffs will pile up part with energy weapons for reasonable prices. We must buy from them if we will build our army. Yeah, why not? And uh, power armor practice. The NCR's withdrawal may have left Vault City exposed, but our fellow assistants can teach us a thing, a thing or two about how to use power armor. We'll get some comms to go through as well. Let's see, can we do well here? Do we do have anti-tank? We do have a little bit of piercing. No, we have no piercing. Oh god, no. No, we do have piercing. Don't listen to me. I'm going crazy, apparently. But what else is new? Always oh, going crazy. Oh, auto-saving? My comment was, uh, can you make a democratic campaign in any mod except Old World Blues, please? A quest reward, maybe? Or a second Sengoku? Or maybe not Old World Blues, not a Quest War, or Second Son Goku. So maybe like Kazuri, right? Kazuri Dex, maybe? Hey, we'll see. Maybe on uh, sometime. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Just in the tennis recording, there's, there's quite a few mods hit and itches I've not done in a long time. So I uh, definitely want to try to uh, get as much, uh, as many videos out as possible. I'm, 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 oh, I didn't really see. Oh, it was less than 100, though. Nice. But we're also going to war with the Guardians next. But it's going to take a very long time for us to go to war with Cardinal Scott. Not sure why. Oh, it's because he's Bunker Blues. That's why. Uh, or maybe not. Damage garrisons? No. Well, it's going to take a flipping long time to go to war with them for some reason. I don't understand why. But I do want to go to war with Klamath as well, if possible. Of course, for the Den, 190 days, which is really terrible. But this is going to take up to 325 days, which is god awful. Let's just be real. Let's just god awful. But we'll buy from the Van Grass Power Armor Practice as well. Now expand the armory. The life of every citizen is precious. If we want to make sure they come home safely, we must make sure they are well armed. Open up the vault workshops. Although the vault has been used for a little more than storage for decades, many of its multiple machines could be turned to war. Shouldn't we manufacture firearms in the most secure location? Old ways for the new world. Some of our citizens have experience with the standing military. They will gladly train us and remind the people why we fight for a better world. The last best hope for peace. The people of Vault City may shot from sh conflict, but they all, we all know they're in their hearts that Vault City is a waste on Utopia. Only we can save the wastes. And someone else has said in the comments from the last video, Try Lost Hills as intellectual cultists. Trade with the outworld. The Van Graffs accepted our fair offer. Perhaps the rumors of the Van Graff matriarch was a ruthless businesswoman bent on forging an empire were a mere slander. If people can lie and call us arrogant snobs just because we remember how to build a sewer system, maybe they lied about it too. To be fair, the guns, of course, do smell. And now, it's time to take out Klamath. And actually, we just got the justification done for these guys. I think a good end boss for us would be to try to take out the Troll Warren. They seem a little beefy, but, you know, we could try. You know, you never know. So, in the meantime, let's go ahead and see what type of things we can cook up in 45 days. As we've already gone to war with these guys as well, so. Let's see what we can do with Klamath. Beat the living schnoz off them, and have a good time as we continue to try to core more territory as well. Uh, we definitely could use more planes, though. Um, you go right there, because we'll need a planes against the good old groups over. Um, against some troll war and folk. Oh, this is glitch. God dang it. I hate it when the same is glitch. You can't even see the casualties. Well, let's take a look. They have about 5, 7,000 manpower, up to 53 divisions. And these ghost troll warrants trying to fight the she and the NC. Oh boy. Okay, well, that's not good. Mm, yeah, we need a build a bigger army. It's alright. Um, I will also core the territory down here too because this is actually pretty, pretty good territory to core. Holy sh! Nike fathers, that's a lot of manpower. We got to core New Reno next. That is absolutely the one we've got to go for next. I know it's more than a year ahead of time, but whatever. Um, it'll take time. It'll take time. I'm gonna go to war with those guys too. Um, maybe we should have waited just to find these guys. Yeah, probably. But hey, we're getting a lot more army XP, and that's what we care about a whole bunch, right? Arm XP is good because we get better and better every time with it. I got some planes here too. Next priority? We're only doing 40, roughly 40 ish damage every single time, maybe even more. Which is muy bueno. Nice. 
more, please? And look at that. Air XP. It's not going up as fast as Arm XP, probably, but... Kind of hard to tell. I hope you guys have been a pretty good day. Not bad so far. Pretty... Pretty decent, I would say. Nice. The best last hope for peace. Yes, yes. Open up the revolt workshops for only 45 days, and then after that... Um, can't do the amplifier. Oh, we need a magistrate for Modoc. Oh, well... We keep doing redefining the guard. A lot more men under the banner of the guard. We can split up their responsibilities more. Until now, guardsmen were supposed to do everything: patrol the outskirts of the city, protect the gates, prevent crime, respond to domestic issues, fight fires, fight wars. Now we have options. Um, are we supposed to be able to? Okay, go power plant. Manage our subjects. Procurement of things. Send some power armor. Um, have a magistrate available? Also, don't have any of this too. Not researchable, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Um, land auction is done, which is great. Definitely don't want to do that. Rocket launchers, yes, please. Kimmelt station, we actually honestly might wait for that. That'd probably be for the best to wait. Um, they have a lot of divisions literally all over the place. I think we're going to wait to go to war with these guys. I just don't think we have the number of divisions we really need yet. So, let's take out the Guardians next. Um, in the meantime, we'll probably take out the White Legs, maybe, and stuff like that. Ooh, actually, you know, you guys come over here. As we'll drastically start improving our numbers. Actually, we're finding those guys over there, too. Shoshone, we don't want to increase that size. Murtaugh Reformers. Just another group to take out, potentially. So, there we go. Klamath is ours. Great, great, great. When's the last day for us to... Oh, I wish they'd stop giving us this stuff. Also, we want to try to slowly integrate these guys, too, if possible. So, that'd be good. Last day to go to war is... February 2nd, not good, not good. T45 D power armor, awesome. I'm gonna grab that too. I think we can pretty much go to war. Just go to war for now. We don't lose at war goal. Let them attack us, it's fine, I don't really care. As long as we're at war, that's what I really ma really matters. We don't have to waste any political power deposit, it's fine. So you guys, a couple of days here and there. Expert Hills Fighter. Because we'll use that, especially trying to fight the Troll Warren. They're gonna be pretty good in the hills, so. Do we need more military factories? Yes, yes we do. Of course we do. Why would we even ask that? Of course. New Orano. Nice. And we'll get some more here too, which is awesome. So now, are we strong enough to do this? I hope so. How strong is the Guardians? Uh, up to 30 divisions max, five to 7,000 manpower. Pretty decent, I'd say, overall. Decently strong, but not strong enough to give us too much trouble. Look at all that damage. 22, roughly 22-ish all the time. Not bad. Capital should be ours soon. Almost 50. Awesome. Nice. She had more air XP though. But well, that's alright. Oh, wait, the Garden City. City Dell? Citadel. Yeah, I mean, I said any more divisions, but not necessarily more crappy divisions. Go to 12. Alright. Agree to find on the guard. I should capitulate soon, though. I mean, I guess they're forcing defense, which is pretty. It's giving us a run for our money. But that's also giving a run for the manpower. So. Not bad. A proper army. Thanks to advice from our, some of our illustrious immigrants or immigrants. The city guards, professional military force, in fact, as well as name. The let uh, the let the term city guards strike fear into the hearts of all who oppose us. All right. The patrolmen. The patrols tend to be one of the more dangerous jobs as a guard has to do. Except for some of our citizens even consider leaving the city's walls, but with some more hardy outworlder out under our command, we can make the patrolman a permanent fixture. We actually would have the force required to protect smaller fa fr factions and independent settlements that are friendly relations with us. Not bad. And then a domestic for 
foreign policy, you know, domestic police force. Not every local incident uh, required sending in people with heavy armor and combat shotguns, especially in a relatively calm city like Bald City. A lot of neighbors are missing wa or missing wallet usually require a different approach. Well, we need slags or humans, so we can't do this one. If you're going to do this, please go ahead, as well as... Then we can't do this one as well, which kind of sucks. Which actually really sucks. We got the slag. We didn't this one either yet, so we read this, please, please go ahead. I might read this later, maybe... Do we own all of MODOK? I want to get all of MODOK, but do they own part of MODOK? Because MODOK is this one. They might, they might not. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, Murtaz, time for a Murtaz or two. Oh, maybe we should stop training first. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Oh, and there goes New Vegas. Oh boy, yeah. Fighting the Troll Warren is going to be kind of a pain in the butt, ain't it? Oh, it definitely is. Oh, it definitely is. We should do fine against those guys, though. They're fighting New Canaan, which is fine, too. We're doing Domestic Police Force. The Patrolmen, which doesn't really help us out that much, but whatever. Oh! This is exactly what we want to do, too. Beautiful. Got some more power armor. Get some of this one, too. That'd be very nice. Nice. Adding more to 33 more divisions. Oh, wow. Um, oh, you can only do... T oh, that sucks, bro. Only two. There you go. That's better. Ninety-five divisions, actually, that ain't too bad. Don't get mysterious strange as well. Not bad. Now that actually is not a bad amount of divisions. NCR is basically dead at this point, though. But uh, not bad. It's actually pretty decent. We don't need to go to war with the White Legs then. We might be able to take them on ourselves. So, but it'll take a while. Forty-five days is still not bad, but still. But still. Awesome, awesome. Oh, Twin Falls. I always forget about that we need Twin Falls, but that's hey, okay We got them. Getting rid of the last family. The Mordinos were among the most vile family of New Reno, even if similar assistants once worked with them. Since their flight to the Dan, they've stuck their greasy fingers in the waist on slave trade. Now you decide what to do with them. But freedom is a basic human right. The slavers' guilt was a blight on the wasteland. Sociopathic monsters who saw men, women, and children as fresh meat for the markets. Monsters who would tear a child from their mother's arms to ship them to a legion training camp or destroy a tribe to meet a quota. The Mordinos were happy to run it after fleeing to the city and the blood of hundreds of people is on their hands. Their fate is not in doubt. The only question is, what do you do with the men, women, and children we freed? Our campaign has opened up lands which were once too insecure to farm and we can use them as a basis for a new society. But perhaps it's better to let them go. Forty acres and a Brahmin, the Emancipation Proclamation. Versus perhaps we can uh, apply for a service contract? Ooh, that's really strong. Forty acres and a Brahmin sound like fun. I like that. But we weren't really appealing to refugees very much, so maybe they can apply for a servant's contract. So right now, that all is all the folks is, without actually political power, now we can finally coordinate arena, which I forgot about earlier. But also, I started re on the troll war, and it's going to take a couple, couple, a little while to go to war with them, but um, we'll see. Ow, at uh, less than 800 manpower. Um, the roaming army, of course. We're doing quite okay. I've used a lot of political power to core stuff. Uh, take a look, see. Eh, a lot of Nevada over here, Nevada up here. I, actually, I didn't even realize I cored Modoc already, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, we'll do the best we can, obviously. But, uh, we're doing some good damage, some good damage, no damage, some some damage, so. As you can tell, we got a couple more generals here as well. Some of them really suck, only two max, which is garbage. But we do have a cypher going already. So, we do well. I hope we do really, 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 really well, but you know, you never know. More divisions? Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Very nice. Um, Joel Warren, hopefully we can take that pretty easily. Of course, a lot of this is NCR territory, obviously, but, you know, whatever. I just wish this wasn't glitched. Ugh, you can't see what's over there. Yeah, we don't still have, have the thing for down here, which is kind of disappointing, to be honest. But, you know, I mean, maybe we have to wait to get all of MODOK, but I really doubt that. Really, really, really doubt that. Uh, cool. But yeah, we get more than enough manpower, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And now they're out of manpower themselves. Um, stockpile. They got some super immune behemoths. Portable radios. They got a lot of stuff, actually. You guys, come over here. 
What is this? Is it blue? No. Over here. More ground support? Yes, please. It'd be quite bu 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 bueno. Oh, you guys are done? Ha! Huh. You think you're done? Far from it. Far, far from it. But good job no matter what already. Find some stuff. Very good. Agent captured. Oh no! Not an agent! Try to rescue them. We might actually be able to rescue them before we even get this done, but whatever. Um, anything else we really care about? I mean, really, it's, at this point, it's all just about you know, taking them out. I love military training programs, officers, stuff like that. Best stuff. So. You. Can do the fox? Sure, why not? You. He's an invader. Cool. Mysterious stranger. I never, when I played Fallout, I didn't really use Mysterious Stranger too much. I played, I think I used it once in Fallout 4, but other than that, I think that was it. Oh wow, we completely surrounded the Troll Warren and gave up on trying to kill them. Interesting take. Very interesting. I'm gonna finish him off there too if you can. Looking pretty good down here though. We left everything, we took everything but the capital. Go figure. Which would help us take them out, so. I didn't realize I didn't even check out the Wish Maidens, which I gotta play as this nation too. Um, Lady of the Lake. Which is down here, so this is Old Spokane, so that's actually really cool. I love that they have unique focus tree now. Oh, now we go right here. There you go. Yeah, just force it. Just, you know, just force things. Just forcing things sometimes just results in the best of things that happen. Virgin from the lens! Yes, please. Power armor scavenger armor attacked. Canoe holes? Sure, you can make one. And then get some ca canoes. Canoes? Do that too. Got maxed out all the special force stuff. We'll go for some robots. Some more robots because why not? Actually, here. Because look at all the bonuses you get. It's, a lot, it's only 2%, but they stack up eventually. So it's really not bad at all. Inspiration will be no point for that. Awareness for more uh, recon, but we can't get that yet because it's a lot of command power. Oh, come over here too. Salem, eh? Nice. And we got him. Oh, wait, do we? Do we oh, oh. The NCR still. No, you know what? Okay. Can't quite take every state. Almost, but okay, sure. Because we can, right? That's right. Now this. It's pretty nice. Better living underground, huh? Art of haggling, better living underground. Now there's a Nevada protector at Conquer Arroyo. Oh. Okay. Well, scavenge vehicles, store China Lake. Anything over here? Alright. Anything else, maybe? Repair the turbine, Hoover Dam, Strike Lost Hill, that's always with everyone else. Um, doesn't look like there's anything else here. I mean, oh, I guess we have Vault 13. If you want to read these, please. I've read these before, so if you want to read these, please go right ahead. Yeah. Get a core, it's always better to do Vault 13 as well. I've read this before. If you want to read this too, please go ahead. Research speed. Vault Arroyo, of course, Vault 15. We get a heritage site. Wow, that's really good. Oh, and rebuild the establishment. I'd rather, I mean, if we were going to play long term, I mean, the, the heritage side is better. Just because you can course up eventually, but yeah. Um, I think that's going to be it for us. I think that's pretty much it for this campaign. Like I said, if you want to do this, please go right ahead. It kind of sucks that we can't do these, but I'm not sure why we can't appoint a match day for Modoc, because we've owned Modoc for quite a while now, but. Oh, well, and we've already courted anyways. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.